Hello, we are going to be explaining how the sarcomere works by using the muscle contraction sliding filament model. This is an example of what a sarcomere would look like. Myosin, actin, and the actin are bound to the Z lines. For simplification, we are going to use one myosin head and one actin fiber so that you can see how it works at a, at a smaller level. Uh, the myosin head requires ATP in order for it to flex and to be able to attach and move the actin fiber, like this. The ATP will release one inorganic phosphate and we will be left, we will be left with ADP and an inorganic phosphate. When the myosin head flexes, the ADP and the inorganic phosphate are released. This process needs to happen over and over again for the contraction to occur. If we take a closer look at how the actin fiber and the myosin head attached, we can see that it has bindings. The actin fiber has binding sites. And these binding sites are covered by tropomyosin and troponin. Tropomyosin wraps around an actin fiber and the troponin blocks these binding sites. Now these binding sites are blocked. The myosin head cannot attach to the actin fiber and therefore contraction will not occur. This is when calcium ions come into play. The calcium ions attach to the troponin and this causes the tropomyosin to slide, opening up the binding sites and allowing the myosin head to attach and then the process of contraction can occur again. This was a very brief explanation of how a muscle contraction occurs in the sarcomere. You should look into more details if you want to understand it better. Thank you.